Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve one-step multiplication equations with negatives. Now, when we solve one-step equations with negatives, we solve them the same way we solve one-step equations that have only positives. We want to isolate the variable, which means get it by itself. And we do this by using the inverse operation, which means the opposite operation. Basically, we want to undo whatever is being done to the variable. That way, the variable is by itself on one side of the equation. And again, we do this by using the inverse or opposite operation. Just remember, whatever is done to one side of the equation, it must be done to the other in order to keep everything balanced and equal. Let's jump into number one where we have negative 6x equals negative 36. Now we have a number next to a variable. That means we are multiplying. This is negative 6 times x equals negative 36. So whenever you see a number next to a variable, that is representing multiplication. So something to keep in mind. Now we need to isolate that variable of x. We need to figure out what x equals. Since x is being multiplied by negative 6, we need to undo that multiplication by using the inverse operation. So the opposite operation. The opposite of multiplication is division. So let's divide the left side of the equation by negative 6. Whatever we do to one side of the equation, we must do to the other in order to keep it balanced and equal. So let's divide the right side by negative 6 as well. Now let's take a look at the left side of the equation. We are multiplying by negative 6 and dividing by negative 6. So these negative 6s cancel out. They equal a positive 1 because we have negative 6 divided by negative 6. A negative divided by a negative equals a positive. So we end up with a positive 1. This gives us 1x, which is just x. So x is now isolated. It's by itself. x equals, and then on the right side of the equation, negative 36 divided by negative 6 equals a positive 6. Because again, a negative divided by a negative equals a positive. So this is our solution. x equals 6. Now we can always check a solution by plugging it into the original equation. So let's plug 6 in for x and see if this works. So we have negative 6 times a positive 6 equals negative 36. A negative times a positive equals a negative. So negative 6 times a positive 6 does equal negative 36. We have the correct solution. x equals 6. Let's move on to number 2 where we have 77 equals negative 7e. So we need to isolate that variable of e. e is being multiplied by negative 7. We need to undo that multiplication by using the inverse operation. The inverse of multiplication is division, so let's divide the right side by negative 7. Whatever we do to one side of the equation, we must do to the other. So let's divide the left side by negative 7 as well. Now taking a look at the right side of the equation, we are multiplying by negative 7 and dividing by negative 7. So these negative 7s cancel out. They equal 1. We have negative 7 divided by negative 7. That gives us 1e, which is just e. Our variable is now isolated. It's by itself. e equals, and then on the left side of the equation, we have 77 divided by negative 7. So a positive divided by a negative. That's going to equal a negative. So we get negative 11. E equals negative 11. And we can rewrite this with the variable coming first. So E equals negative 11. Let's check that solution by plugging negative 11 in for E. So we have 77 equals 
negative 7 times negative 11. We have a negative times a negative. Negative 7 times negative 11. A negative times a negative equals a positive. So negative 7 times negative 11 does equal 77, a positive 77. We have the correct solution. E equals negative 11. So there you have it. There's how you solve one-step multiplication equations with negatives. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.